Before sports and performance cars became a thing, muscle cars used to rule the streets. First launched in the late 1940s, muscle cars are not unlike the modern sports cars we have now. Back in the day, muscle cars offered powerful V8 engines and exquisite designs that were only found in luxury cars without the expensive price tags that made the 1960s luxury cars unattainable for many. And while later developments and refinements, thanks to advances in car technology, have massively changed the game in the muscle car market, there's just something about the classic muscle cars that makes them hot commodities to this day. The interesting thing about these classic muscle cars is that while some were produced in large numbers and easier to find, others were built in small numbers as automobile companies back in the day experimented with different engines and chassis to offer the ideal supercar to their customers. So without further ado, here's our list of the 10 rarest American muscle cars of all time. Coming in at number 10, we have the Plymouth Belvedere R23 and the Dodge Coronet W23. Both muscle cars were released in 1967 by different manufacturers, but were completely identical in performance and features. The only difference between the two cars was the badges and smaller details that distinguished each vehicle as a product of Ford or General Motors. These two factory-prepared cars were designed for racing, and as a result, unnecessary features such as a heater or car radio were absent. Both cars featured rear-mounted car batteries and were powered by the Mopar. 7.0-liter Hemi V8 engine. The engine had a peak power rating of 425 horsepower and was originally sold for $4,700. Only 55 units of these two cars were produced by Ford and General Motors. The last recorded auction price for either of these two cars was $130,000. Number 9 on the list is the 1970 Buick GSX. The 1970 Buick GSX was not the first model in the 60S-70S Buick lineup. In fact, it wasn't until the release of the 1970 GSX model that the brand truly gained national attention. The 1970 Buick GSX was capable of delivering 400 ponies thanks to the monster 7.5-liter engine crammed into it. Thanks to its unique valves and camshaft configuration, the muscle car is capable of moving a quarter mile in 13.38 seconds. The 1971 Buick was only ever released in two colors, Apollo White and Saturn Yellow. There were only 678 GSX cars built, and only 199 units featured four-speed manual transmissions. Number 8. The 1967 and 1970 Dodge Coronet RT 426 Hemi Convertible. The drag race-ready Coronet W23 wasn't the only classic muscle Dodge created back in the day. The company also introduced a road and track model for its Coronet lineup between 1967 and 1970. Simply marketed as Coronet RT Convertibles, Dodge outfitted its 1967 RT Convertibles with the then-new 7.0-liter Hemi V8 engine. Between then and 1970, the company built several Coronet Convertibles while experimenting with the vehicle design and engine. If you were looking to get a rare muscle car convertible, the 1967 and 1970 Coronet Hemi Convertibles are the rarest you can go for in the Coronet Convertible series since they are the only two models to feature a drop-top body design. If you do want to pick up any of these bad boys, you'll likely need more than $300,000, with the 1970 Coronet Convertible being the more expensive model. Number 7. 1971 Oldsmobile 42. Released with a 442 configuration that had the entire muscle car market in a chokehold, there's much to love about this classic. With the 442 config, short for four barrel car, four speed gearbox, and dual exhaust, the 1971 Oldsmobile produced 360 horsepower through the tri power arrangement of its three two barrel carburetors. The car incorporated an air induction system into the front bumper area and can hit a quarter mile in 14.8 seconds. General Motors released the Oldsmobile 442 in a hardtop coupe and convertible body type. With only 54 factory release models, the 1971 Oldsmobile is as rare as classic cars come. Do keep in mind that there are now a bunch of refurbished 71 Oldsmobile 442 on the market if you are shopping for a true classic. At number 6, we have the 1967 Chevrolet Corvette L88. With only 20 units produced, the 1967 Chevy Corvette L88 was largely considered the brainchild of Zora Arcus Duntov, who, if you don't know, is the godfather of the Chevy Corvettes. 
The Corvette packed a 7.0-liter V8 engine with a peak power output rating of 430 horsepower. Interestingly, real-life usage of the car showed it produced well over 500 ponies. The muscle car was designed by Duntov for race teams, which is why it only uses 103-octane fuel. Also, traditional features such as radio, air conditioner, and heater often found in cars are absent in the L88 Corvette. Of the 20 units produced, only half are known to exist today, with only three units still equipped with their original engines. The last auction price recorded for the L88 Corvette was $4 million. Number 5. 1966 Ford Fairlane 500R Code Now, unlike other muscle cars in this video, Ford did not create this car as a typical muscle car. The first Fairlane was introduced in 1955 as a full-size sedan. Ford then continued to make changes to the Fairlane line until we got the Ford Fairlane 500R Code. Packing a massive 7.0-liter Cobra V8 engine that can produce up to 425 horsepower under the hood, it's not surprising the race-ready Fairlane 500 was a huge success. And with only 57 units produced, it's exceptionally rare to find this 1966 classic on sale or auction. Number 4. 1963 Chevrolet Impala Z11 Before the shiny, boring-looking sedan Chevy Impala we have today, the brand name used to command massive respect in the 1960s and early 1970s. A good example is the 1963 Chevrolet Impala Z11, which rocked a mad 427 V8 engine that produced around 430 horsepower. With their rectilinear styling and engine-turned rear taillight panel, the 63 Impalas were a masterpiece. The car featured a dual carter AFB carburetor that utilized all the power generated by the engine to deliver 575 pounds of torque. Only 50 units of the 1963 Impala Z11 were produced, with only a few units surviving today. The last time a 63 Impala was on the market was back in 2017, when one sold for a whopping $525,000. Closing in on third place, 1971 Pontiac GTO Judge Convertible. Landing a 1971 Pontiac GTO Judge Convertible in today's market is extremely rare. The GTO line made its debut in 1964, but it was only after the launch of the 1965 GOAT model that the brand dominated the muscle car market. The earlier Pontiac GTO could go from 0 to 60 within 6.1 seconds, and the company has gone on to improve performance since then. But this video is about the rarest muscle cars of all time and not a review of the 1960s Pontiac GTO. So, about 357 hardtop models of the 1971 Pontiac GTO made it out of the production line, of which only 17 were convertibles. The extreme rarity of these convertibles means you will have to dig deep to score one of them in this current market. But of course, the hard-charging 335 horsepower, the 7.0 liter. V8 engine produces, coupled with the 480 pounds of torque means you do get the thrilling rides you are paying for. Second place is the Shelby Cobra Super Snake. To this day, the Shelby Cobra Super Snake remains one of the best cars Shelby ever created. When the muscle car first hit the market, people were literally willing to trade their houses and empty their savings accounts to land a Shelby Cobra Super Snake, and for good reason. The performance of the car was incredible for the price tag. With a 7.0-liter big block 427 supercharged V8 engine under the hood, the car could generate 800 horsepower at 5,600 rounds per minute. Then there's the 462 pounds of torque that kicks in when the power unit hits 2,800 rounds per minute. The insane 201 miles per hour top speed of the car also made it a perfect car for adrenaline junkies back in the day. While the Shelby Cobra brand remains an iconic name in today's muscle car market, only two Super Snakes were ever produced. In 2007, the only remaining Super Snake was sold for $5 million at an auction, making it one of the most expensive American muscle cars at the time of the auction. And saving the best for last, we have the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SSF. There are two things you need to know about this beast of a car. First, only 20 units were ever produced. Secondly, there's every possibility you might not find one for sale. Chevelle muscle cars were already quite popular in the late 1960s. The cars were typically available with a wide variety of small and big block V8 engines that were the standard back then. 
So when Chevrolet introduced the LS6 upgrade of its 7.4-liter V8 engine in the 1970 model, everyone paid attention. The 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS featured a single-barrel Holley carburetor that increased the base power of the 7.4-liter engine to 450 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. However, the upgraded V8 engine was more powerful than that. In truth, Chevrolet underrated the power rating of the engine to keep insurance costs down. Now, although the 1970 Chevelle SS LS6 is quite rare, it's not very expensive. The last recorded auction price for the model was just above $220,000. And there you have it. Of course, there's always going to be a long list of rare muscle cars that didn't make our list. If you currently own a rare muscle car or used to own one and think it should have made the list, do let us know in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Also, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, bye.